I'm excited to introduce you today to an incredible photographer that's actually based in Chicago, but she's here in Key West working on her latest project. Now, her projects have taken her all across the world, so we're so fortunate to have her here right now. The project she's working on is entitled Changing Tides in Key West. This project showcases our incredible island that, of course, is unlike any other place in the United States. Alexandra, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> well, it's great having you here. I am a fan of your work. And I understand that you just returned from a trip to India, correct? I did. I did. I was um, based there for a year in Calcutta mm -hmm. on a Fulbright scholarship doing a documentary um, in rural Muslim districts primarily. Mm -hmm. And how was the whole year that you were there? Uh, it was incredible. I mean, I, I think my whole life has prepared me for that year. I've, mm -hmm. I've been really fortunate to, to be traveling since I was really young. And so, um, and, you know, to some extent, nothing can, can, can like, prepare you for a year in India. Mm -hmm. But it was unbelievable. I don't, think, I don't think I'll ever be the same. Have you always had a camera in your hand? Yeah, no, really, ever since I was nine. I think mm -hmm. I had a little blue and yellow primary colored camera. Mm -hmm. So you, you've been ready for this, like you said, always. I've never wanted to be anything else in my life. Mm -hmm. Like, I always knew what I wanted to be. Let's talk about your project, Changing Tides in Key West. How did this all come about? Um, well, my family moved down here about six years ago, and so I had some concept of what Key West was all about, but you know, I, I was only able to visit them sporadically, and so I, I went to college, and um, I never was able to live down here, but I was always in awe of the characters and people down here, and it's almost like all the different projects that I've done in life um, are condensed. All, all the people are condensed here on this two mile by four mile island, so it just seemed like a natural progression in my career to go get the credibility abroad and go, go live and establish myself and then come back here to Key West mm -hmm. and um, bring those skills to this community. Okay, now what is your goal with this project, Changing Tides in Key West? I really, I really want to depict um, all the different, the people that, that are here. And it's, it, because I feel like when I talk to people about Key West, they, they talk about it as a tourist destination, the gorgeous sunsets or the debauchery on Duval Street, you know. Um, but I feel like mainland America doesn't have a real concept of the gems of people who are here, you know, that there's this aura of um, treasure and piracy and history here, but really the real treasure begging to be discovered are the characters that are here. And so I want to paint a picture of if you walked from one side of the island to the other, all the different types of people that are here and how they all intermingle together, you know. You, you can go to a party and you'll have a million dollar, uh, a man who has millions of dollars right there next to his drywaller and it's, everybody's on the same committee, the same community, the same team here. Mm -hmm. It's something, isn't it? It's unbelievable. <laughs> now, who are some of the characters? Like, tell me a character that comes to mind right away of someone you've met down here. Um, Michelangelo. Michelangelo is a 93-year-old man who lives out of his yellow uh, bus. Mm -hmm. He lives out of like a yellow bus on, and he primarily spends most of his time on Higgs Beach where all these snowbirds of sorts come down. They've been coming down for 25 years, so they know all about Key West. They're as much a part of the community as anybody else. And he has been coming down here for years and years. He's a veteran. He's an amazing man. And he's really dear to me now because he actually tells people about Changing Tides in Key West. He collects little business cards for me and tells people <laughs> about me, connects me with different photographers. <laughs> and he, he's just, um, his stories are unbelievable, why he came here, why he stays. Um, what what draws him to this island mm -hmm. and so many people are like that you know if you're sitting next to somebody on a bench everybody has a story right everybody has a story they just need it to be told well, sure. right <laughs> exactly and well i'm trying to let other people tell me their story you know it's not about my projections of what key west is it's mm -hmm. it's uh 
Yeah, it's all about the people here. When are we going to be able to see the, the final project? Hopefully um, in, the nec in five months. In five months, I'm going to be having an exhibition at Studios of Key West, and then I'm hoping to apply for a grant and uh, publish a book. Mm -hmm. Because it's, as you might imagine, with all the different subcultures in Key West, there's, uh, it, it's kind of an extensive project at this point. Mm -hmm. You could probably film mini books, right? With right, I know, you're I know. You could just spend, um, you could just be at the Hogfish mm -hmm. and, and do a whole project on that place alone. Absolutely. Any chance of you coming back down the road? To Key West? Uh -huh. God, I can't even imagine leaving at this <laughs> point. So, yeah, definitely. I think it'll always be a part of my life, as most documentary projects that I do are. Great. Well, I cannot wait to see it, Alexandra. So thank you for being on this morning and for thank sharing this. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away.